What is up TFC family and friends? My name is Travis Martin and I'm here today to talk a little bit about coronavirus and what these immunosuppressed kids should be doing to create more safety, create more protection while we're going through all of this and also give some tips that I've been doing uh, while we're quarantined at home or we're stuck at home because I know right now I'm out of a job, I'm not working and so we're all getting a little stir crazy. Um, so first I'm going to cover the basics, um, kind of stuff that you've been hearing on the news, on the radio, all of that stuff with COVID-19. The first thing is social distancing and isolation. This is good for everyone, but it's especially important for those of us that have weakened immune systems. We're on medication that keeps us from being able to fight this virus from the get-go and then makes us at higher risk if we do contract it. So the, the better and longer we can stay away from people, the better we're going to be. The next thing is hygiene. Um, we've been talking a lot about washing our hands, making sure that we are um, staying clean, you know, showering, bathing, that kind of stuff. A lot of people are wearing masks right now. According to the CDC, they're not completely necessary, but if you have a hard time not touching your face with your hands, if you're out in public and you're worried about touching your nose or your mouth, um, I would definitely suggest a mask because that is going to get into your lungs and that's how COVID is going to attach to you and create more problems and really give you uh, the virus. Uh, the last thing on the list, which isn't talked about as much, but we did post about recently, is the fact that we are still getting deliveries. So Amazon is still delivering FedEx, USPS. Uh, maybe you're using Postmates, you're getting food deliveries. All that's totally understandable. What I want all of you to do, if you can, is print off the sheet that Diana posted the other day on the Transplants for Children page. Uh, what that has is it's basically saying someone in this house is immunocompromised and we need you to leave the package outside and just knock on the door or send us a text that you're here. That way you don't have to come in contact with these people. Um, that's less people coming in and out of your house and that's less people that you can potentially contract this virus from. And that's the goal is to stay as far away from possible so we can make it through the end of this and everyone can be happy and healthy. Uh, now that we talked about the basics, I want to jump into a few things that I've been doing and that I'm going to suggest doing to really make this, uh, this stay at home a lot more fun. We're not going to call it quarantine because that's boring and sad. Um, my first one is to go outside if you can. I know not everyone has the ability to go outside all the time, but vitamin D is really, really good for fighting viruses, for keeping your immune system up. If you can just get in the sun a little bit, uh, play outside, draw with some sidewalk chalk, go in your backyard, play with the dogs, whatever it is, soak up some of the sun, and you're gonna be feeling a lot better, and you're not gonna feel as cooped up being inside your house. Uh, the second thing is be creative. Color, craft, Play-Doh is amazing. I know when I was in the hospital, when my wife was in the hospital when we were in high school, we played with a lot of Play-Doh because it was just something to distract us, help the time go by, and it really keeps your brain active. I know a lot of you are out of school right now, and you may be excited about that because school isn't always the fun, most fun thing in the world, but you definitely want to keep that activity up so that you don't feel like you fell behind over the summer and over this big, long break. Um, the last thing that I'm going to talk about is visiting another world. And I don't mean leaving town because we can't leave our houses. What I mean is if you're into video games or board games or even reading, taking a couple hours and diving into one of these things can really make a huge difference because you're in a totally different world. Pamela and I played Monopoly the other day and you know, it doesn't sound that exciting, but we like got into it and it took a few hours and it made kind of our night a lot more fun than it would have been if we had just stayed on Netflix, stayed on our phones, been, you know, looking at Instagram, seeing what everyone else is doing, everyone else complaining about all of this. So get creative, get fun, get outside. And I hope everyone has a really, uh, you know, calm and I don't know, just fulfilled time off because we're not going to get many times like this as bad as it is, as the reason is, um, this is an opportunity for us to like grow and learn more about ourselves. So these are my top tips. Uh, for staying at home, for staying healthy, all of that stuff. And I hope everyone's been inspired. Uh, the last thing I want to say, though, is remember, if you do have any more questions medically related or you don't feel well, contact your clinic, contact your doctor. Uh, Diana, Maria, David and I, we're not professionals, but we want to give you as much information as you can and help motivate you to go see a professional if you do need one. I hope everyone has a great day. We'll be doing more videos like this the rest of the week. If you have any questions, post them on this page, post them as a comment like this, and we'll answer whatever we can for you. I hope you all have a great night. Peace.